I'm here with Alessandro Vasapolli, an international artist that leverages Arduino a lot in his uh, ambitious challenge of overcoming the limits of human perception in your art pieces. So, ciao Alessandro. Ciao Stefano. Happy Arduino Days 2025. Welcome to my studio. And um, yes, my name is uh, Alessandro Vasapolli. Uh, I'm a photographer, I'm an artist. Even if actually I, I study business at university, but I always had the passion for photography. So already at university, I thought, okay, once I'm graduated, uh, I'll be an artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you were saying, for me, uh, my artistic research lies on the study of perception. And this is uh, because I think that we, as human beings, we have a very limited view of reality. And most of all, it's really subjective. So my quest as an artist is to enable the camera, uh, to give the camera a different perception that we usually have as human beings, to see reality in a different way, but still authentic. <laughs> nice. So let's show our audience some of your beautiful art pieces. Of course. Come on. So about this one, you mentioned that you used Arduino to, to tell the camera how to compose this image, which is in fact made of different slices, where each slice is a picture, correct? Yes, exactly. In this case, I wanted to create a multi-exposure image, which is something that back in the days it was possible to do with film, because we could take a picture, not advance the film, and take another picture on the same pieces of film. I wanted to do it in digital, again, without any post-production, because for me, any post-production alteration of a, of a, of a final picture is uh, would, uh, uh, how could I say, um, would mine its authenticity. Mm -hmm. So what I've done uh, has been to create uh, an external shutter for the camera. Uh, I designed this shutter in 3D, then I, I printed it with a 3D printer, and then I created all the movement inside and all the mechanism uh, with Arduino. In this, in, in this way, uh, by neutralizing the internal shutter of the camera, simply leaving it uh, open for a certain amount of time, then I had this external shutter opening and closing. So to make an analogy with film, is it, uh, it is as if I have taken, uh, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, seven picture within the same pieces of a sensor, even if it doesn't make uh, really sense uh, so in, that, in that context. And you told me about another creation in which you use Arduino, right? This one. Yes, this one. This is a picture to which I'm uh, profoundly attached. Uh, this is the it's a picture taken from my last chapter of my latest project, which is called Dance Notes. And it is, as you can guess, about dance. And in this case, I wanted to depict uh, a dancer without showing her body, his body. Uh, because I, I simply wanted to portray the movement of a dancer throughout time. And to do so, I uh, came up with the idea of creating a completely black suit covered in uh, LEDs. And clearly, I've used uh, Arduino both to uh, tell the LEDs how to light up and to and to switch off, but and and also to uh, synchronize it with exposure of the camera. Okay, so if I understand it correctly, these dark lines are actually the light coming from the LEDs that you manipulate, but it looks like the opposite because it's dark. Right? Yes, exactly. Um, this is the picture exactly for as it is for all my works, exactly how it has come out of the camera without any post-production. The way I achieved this color um, is uh, uh, thanks to an algorithm that I created when I was at university. And basically, this algorithm tells the camera that the color that it, uh, it's portraying are not the color as we usually see them with our uh, eyes, uh, but are the color of a different universe that I define in a mathematical way. In this specific case, then, I told the, I told the algorithm to keep the color how it usually interprets them. So in this case, the, the background was green and it, it is still green. Uh, but I told the algorithm, algorithm to invert the luminosity of a picture. So the, this is why you see the LEDs as black and the, and the background as light. Nice. So these beautiful colors, you can also tell the camera to react differently, right? You showed me a beautiful yes. red, right? Of the background. Let's check this one. So this is it, right? This is the original. This is the original background, uh, background that I yeah. use for this picture. Okay. And as you can see, in the picture, actually, it appears this greenish, bluish 
tint. So that's the tissue, the, the, the texture that you showed before, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. That's the background that I painted in the picture. So through the perception of reality of the mm -hmm. camera, thanks to this algorithm. And that is the, is the backdrop in real life as we perceive it as a human being. Nice. The interesting thing for me is that even the dress, bo both the, the costume of the dancer and the backgrounds were red, but they were slightly different red. And while for us this was a small difference, for the algorithm with this different perception, it was a very big difference. Interesting. So to learn more about Alessandro's creation, check out www.alessandrovasapolli.com. That's so fascinating, Alessandro, and we're happy to be part of your journey and to support you Thank in that. You. So in the meantime, we we wait for your next projects. Thank you for being with us and happy for coming. Days. <laughs> to you too.